And first of all, I want to get your perspective on how things have played out recently. Um, clearly, we've seen some volatility in the interbank market. I heard yesterday it closed at about 20% after falling to about 15% on Friday. But of course, we do know that it um, spiked to about 38% last week. And at that point, many people were critical. Many felt the central bank had gone too far. Your thoughts on that sentiment? Do you think that it's still fair to say the central bank has gone too far now that we're seeing the market stabilizing? Uh, morning, Wally. Um, well, my thoughts, uh, uh, let me ask, has the central bank gone too far? Uh, in my opinion, I don't think they've gone too far. More like what I would say is that the market has reacted too far. Um, mm. Post-MPC, what we saw was uh, interest rate moving as high as 40%, 35 to 40%. But in recent times, we've seen it stabilize at the 20% uh, percent level. The question is, what has, uh, what has been the difference uh, since the announcement and now? I don't think there's been any major difference. The market has moved up and has become, I mean, we've seen it stabilize at uh, current levels. So if you ask me, I think the reaction is from the market side. But if I look at it again, maybe where I would want to say the CBN has gone a little bit far is on the access to the WDAS, uh, I mean, to the repo window, if you're right. going for WDAS. Okay. Uh, I, I, in my own opinion, I think the central bank is a lender of last resort, and they must always, in every situation, continue to act as the lender of last resort. Right. At no point should it be jettisoned. Well, there are background to why the CBN uh, went that route, yeah, because they believe that uh, the market is probably uh, betraging between the central bank rate and the market rate. Well, I think what the central bank needs to do, or my own proposal to the central bank, is that they need to be proactive and look at the repo rate. Do they need to anchor the uh, repo rate around the NPR? Do they need to anchor the standing lending facility around the NPR? I, I think they don't need to. The, this, the uh, central bank lending rate is actually supposed to be a punitive rate. It's not supposed to be a rate lower than the market. Right. So they probably need to look at it and come out with daily rate based on what has happened in the market if you need to come to our window for example if the market closes at 20 if you need to come to our window come at 25. when mm. market do not know what that rate is the market cannot try to arbitrage the rate so mm. but in general i think the market has reacted so far, uh, far more than what the cbn and actually done and that's why we've seen rates stabilize at current levels okay so you think the market has overreacted but what about foreign investors we're seeing them getting into the treasury bill market post mpc and many people are telling me that they are moving into the one-year treasury bill um, across the curve would you say that's where the smart money should go um, given the volatility we've seen in the money market and of course even in the bond market well, the one-year yields are higher than uh, all the other yields, and um, we've seen the offshore guys participate more on that part of the curve. Why? Because the yields are higher. It gives them decent return. As a close of market today, we've seen it at 17%. At the auction, it was over, I mean, it was over 18%. So mm. naturally, that is where the offshore guys will want to put uh, uh, their cash. Uh, if you ask me, the last auction on the one-year curve was mainly taken up by the offshore guys, and that they've done, they've actually helped to subsidize the government. Uh, left to the locals, I think uh, the, their bids would have been higher, and I, I think the offshore guys are actually subsidizing the government now, and the government is not bearing the brunt of their tightening policy. They should also take part of the, uh, bear part of the brunt on the tightening policy in terms of making the yields on the government securities higher. Okay, and I just noted, I mean, you said 18%, or rather 17% for the one year, and if you see the gains that they've made from the exchange rate over the last one week, it's about 2%. So very, very attractive returns from Nigeria. Thank you so much, Sam, for joining us on the show today. Sam Ocheo joins us from Stambik IPTC. Um, Mashudi is back to you.